Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. We're going to be going from the main studios here at Sarnet TV over to see young Chris who happens to be working over at Starcar. Right now, well I guess Chris isn't really working, the guys at Starcar are working and Chris is basically having a look as you can see up on the screen right now. So what he's going to be up to is a Dundee is the fire department and they have a brush rig which this vehicle ultimately is going to be and Chris is going to be giving us a little tutorial about the build and from there he'll be traveling out into the field. So Chris, if you can hear me, it's all yours. Thank you, Stuart. SirenNet Television friends and fans, you've asked for it, so the time has come. It's going to be big, bold, bright. It's our Ford brush truck. Stay tuned with us as we show you the build process that you'll only see here with us on SirenNet Television. Hey, Devin. Hey. Working on the front push bumper. Yeah. Yep. Get some lights mounted up in there. All right, just kind of placing things out. I know that Chris was over here earlier, uh, working on some of the uh, the layout with you guys. So that's kind of yeah. Good. So let's yep. see what you've done so far. Devin, Danny, and Austin, the hardworking gentlemen they are, have done a wonderful job on the brush truck project here. Austin, busy at work installing lighting over the rear wheel well, working on the passenger side now. He's already done the driver, gotten that plumbed up. We're going to take you for a trip around the truck, show you the rear, how it's changed so far from what it was when you saw it in the beginning, around the side, and to the front of the truck to let you take a look at equipment that's been installed thus far. So go ahead and join us. On the underside of the truck, right behind the tow package, white LED light heads, part of our Sirenet brand, with some custom bent L brackets, have been installed. 
The point of these light heads is to provide ground illumination on the back of the truck. The guys at Star Cars have done a wonderful job on the brush truck. It's now here at its new home, Dundee Fire Department. So join me, I'm gonna take you for a walk around the truck, showing you all the wonderful fit and finish of the lighting and siren package. So when responding to the fire scene, it was very important for the brush truck to have a very bright footprint to the front of the truck. That's been achieved through Whelan M7 LED light heads fixed to the front grille. Moving downward, affixed to the heavy-duty buckstop front bumper. We have a pair of our 100-watt Sirenet SN SP1 speakers. And driver side and passenger side, installed in the 6-inch and 4-inch cutouts in the front bumper, we've installed a pair of our SN SL4. It's our Sirenet LED floodlights, and those have been wired into an auxiliary LED flasher. So that allows them to go ahead and flash with the warning system when responding. They can also then double up as a steady burn floodlight for lighting up the fire scene. Next to those, we have a set of 4-inch round wheel and LED light heads. It's the 2E series. For intersection protection affixed to the sides of the front bumper, we've used Code 3's Chase LED light heads. Nice and bright they are in a red-white color combination. To profile the sides of the brush truck, under the doors, a pair of red Whelan TIR3s have been installed. Moving down toward the rear of the truck, affixed above the rear axle, driver, and passenger side, we've brought back the Code 3 Chase red-white LED light heads. Rounding out the lighting package on the roof of the F550, a 54-inch Wheel and Engineering Liberty 2 light bar has been installed. As you can see, wonderfully bright it is. Nice thing about this light bar is it incorporates white LED takedowns to the front. They have a flashing function, so they double up for the warning system when the truck's responding. They also have the ability to steady burn independently. So with that, the truck has high intensity spotlights for when out on the back roads or lighting up the fire scene. The Liberty 2 light bar is a full function light bar. So to the sides, we have LED alleys, ability to steady burn as well as flash with the warning system, fully populated warning modules on the rear of the light bar as well as an integrated traffic advisor. So it makes it a very, very useful light bar for the overhead on the brush truck. In keeping with the effective lighting package that we have on the rest of the brush truck, the rear is no exception. On the sides of the custom utility body, an array of Whelan M6 light heads has been installed. Nice thing about the light heads is they have synchronization wires. By tying those together, we've achieved a very effective X flash pattern, as you can see here, tying the reds and ambers together. For auxiliary scene lighting on the rear of the brush truck, we've installed a pair of sound off 500 lumen LED floodlights. They've been affixed under the rear diamond plate on the bumper and wired up to their own switch makes them very useful. So as opposed to being wired into the reverse light circuit and working with the transmission, they're on their own button. So simply pushing it on or off activates your auxiliary scene lights. On the inside, a custom center console was put together for containing the in-vehicle radios, various storage compartments, and the Wheel and Engineering 295 SD A1 siren and lighting controller. The controller itself, very useful for the operators of the brush truck. Push buttons for activating the siren tones as needed, progressive slide switch for activating the warning system, and a variety of push buttons to the side, activating traffic advisor function in the overhead Liberty 2 light bar, control of the alley lights for illumination to the left and right side, take down spotlights, and the rear LED lights, as well as other illumination functions on the truck. Well, there you have it. We hope you've enjoyed the tutorial of our Ford F-350 brush truck. 
We'd like to thank the gentlemen of Star Cars who did a wonderful job as usual. We'd also like to thank Dundee Fire Department for letting us document the installation and come over, check out the final result here at their beautiful fire station. I'm Chris, thanks for joining me here on Siren and Installations. Stuart, I'll see you back in the studio. Well, thanks a million, Chris. A very interesting video and a very, very nice build from the gang over at Star Car. Big shout out to Doug and all the boys. Thanks a million for all your help as usual. You've been watching Sarnet Television and I wish to say thanks to you all. I'm Stuart. Thanks for watching.